hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm back with another diy video i'll be showing you how i created this floating entertainment shelf for a bedroom to get started i took a length of 1 by 12 pine board then i measured three pieces of 11 inches and cut them off two of these pieces will be used for the sides of the unit and the other piece will be used to divide the entertainment unit in two halves. After cutting all the pieces along with the top, the base and the back, I'm now doing the assembly. I'm using wood glue along with brad nails. These brad nailer nails are a great choice for this type of work because the heads are very fine and they go straight through a portion of the wood depending on the pressure of the compressor my nailer was not working properly although it does the job so i had to use the hammer to sink some of the nails I'm done attaching the two sides to the base, so I'm now doing the partition in the middle. I'm checking to ensure that the measurement is correct. The length is 86, the width is 11, and the height is 13 inches. I'm now attaching the back, after which I'll put on the top. After finishing the assembly, I used this acrylic wood filler in the color pine to fill out all the holes in the wood. I did all of that off camera because it was so time consuming. Now I'm doing the sanding. I used the drill and router to create some holes in the unit for charging station and spaces for the cables to pass through. I had to get help to install the unit on the wall because this is the most technical part of the job for me. The wall is concrete and we had to use a lot of concrete screws 
to mount the unit properly. Now I'm just passing the cables through the wall and the entertainment unit before I can install some 3D wall panels on the wall. If you have not seen that video before, please check it out, it's on my channel. Here is the link to the video, it's right here on the screen. Now that the panels have been installed on the wall around the floating shelf, I'm now proceeding with the assembly of the unit. I'll be using two pull-out shelves on the entertainment unit. This is one of them measuring 41 by 9.5 inches. These are some 8 inch draw slides. I'm using them to attach the shelves to the unit. This is the other part of the draw slide. I'll be attaching it to the entertainment unit. I like to install the inches, the draw slides, and all the hardware during the assembly stage in order to address anything that needs to be addressed. This is one of my 90 degree spring inches. I'll be using two pairs to attach the doors. They didn't come with any instructions, but I like them because they can work really well with heavy doors. I'll leave a link for them in the description down below. I didn't bother to put on the handles, I'll just leave that part for the finishing. So sad to say guys, but this is the end of the video. Look out for part 2 in which I'll give this entertainment unit some style by adding a wood stain and a resin finishing on top. Thank you guys for liking, watching, subscribing commenting and bye i'll see you in the next one